guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what I'm gonna say, if you are not already subscribed, before you even go any further into this video, press pause and make sure to subscribe below. Along with that, if you see the bell notification link, hit that as well so you guys know when I'm posting a new video. I don't have a regular schedule, I kinda just upload as I record, so you guys will be notified when I post a new video. I know I haven't been as frequent with my videos lately. I've kind of just been taking some downtime and vacationing and things like that and kind of just prepping my mental for the holiday season. So any influencer or really anybody in retail, any influencer, businesses, everything ramps up around the end of the year. So I'm trying to take the time that I need um, to prepare for that. I wanted to do a long awaited video. I've gotten so many questions about Cooper. Cooper, who is my new puppy. Yes, son, I'm talking about you. I've gotten a lot of questions about why I got a puppy, my process with getting one, how I prepared, how's training going, how I found a breeder, why I chose a breeder over a rescue, um, all different types of questions. And I wanted to just do a dedicated video, kind of just walking you guys through um, my thought process and my process with things, and also just let you officially meet him. Coop, hold on guys, he's, he's not allowed in my beauty room, so he's like, thinks I'm trying to trick him with um, coming in here, but I'm gonna let him in here right now for the video. So please hold. Come here, baby. This is Cooper. Did you give him a kiss? Thank you, baby, so sweet. Give me a kiss. Thank you, baby. Okay, so this is Cooper. He is a F1B micro mini golden doodle. When I got him, he was about maybe three or four pounds. And we went to the groomer yesterday and I weighed him at, um, at PetSmart and he is now 11.8 pounds. He's literally like a monster now. When I got him, they told me that he would be between 10 and 15 pounds. I got a puppy because it's just me. I recently moved into a, a new apartment that had more space. I've always wanted a dog. I've always wanted a golden doodle, but I just didn't have the space for it. And I had a puppy when I first moved to Dallas, but I was working corporate. I was working nine to five ish and then still doing influencing stuff after work. So I was literally never home and I just thought it wasn't fair to have a puppy and him be crated the entire day. Yeah, I just didn't think it was fair. So I ended up giving him to a stay at home mom who really loved him and she had kids and a family and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, this is perfect. He'll get all the attention he needs. Hey, no bite. Thank you. So yeah, uh, he is with a stay at home mom. Long story short, now I work for myself. Now I work from home. I'm able to give a puppy all of the love and attention that he deserves. Um, so when I moved into my new apartment or when I knew I was moving into a bigger, uh, more spacious apartment, I was like, this is perfect. I can now get a puppy and you know, love and raise him in a good environment and give him all the love that he needs. And this one needs a lot of attention or likes a lot of attention. But yeah, so that's why I got a puppy. I always wanted to have a puppy for like when I start a family and like him to like grow and have my, I'm not starting a family guys yet. But I wanted to have a puppy before I started a family so that he can grow and you know, just more for the family. I went on Craigslist. I was looking at different golden doodles that were available. I wanted a specific dog, which is why I chose a breeder over a rescue just because I wanted what I wanted. So a lot of people have been commenting like, oh, you should have never done that. Like, this is so terrible, blah, blah, blah. It's my business, my life. I wanted a golden doodle, so I went and got a golden doodle. Went on Craigslist, was looking at a bunch of different breeders, a bunch of different puppies that were um, looking for rehoming. And I ended up just stumbling upon one. I text them with the number that was on Craigslist and realized that they were an, an entire company-ish. Um, they were about two hours outside of Dallas and they had the perfect puppies and they actually had three or four available for rehoming and when they sent me, I texted them, they sent me the pictures of you know, what was available, what their process was, things like that. I realized that they were extremely professional. They gave me all of the information that I needed. They took care of all his shots and things um, beforehand and he came microchipped and all that kind of stuff. So I noticed that they like, they do this. And that was something that I really wanted to make sure because I wanted to, you know, I didn't want to get something or be scammed because a lot of people have been telling me that they've been scammed by readers and things like that. But when I tell you my experience has been the absolute 
most amazing experience. They were very responsive. All of the paperwork and contracts, everything was like A1. Before I picked him up, I actually went to visit him first because I wanted to make sure, you know, everything was legit. They had what they said they had and I wanted to meet him to just kind of see if we vibe because I know that different dogs are for different people and they had an entire litter, but I wanted to go make sure the one that I thought was right for me um, and see them all and kind of play around and see um, which one was my child. And when I met Coop, I was like, bro, he is mine. He's coming home. I am his mama. Um, and we just meshed. So you, I'll show you guys some of the videos of when I went to visit him. Hey, kiss me. Hi, Shepard Boy. Hi. No, you want to come home yet? I got you a nice playpen and toys. <laughs> yeah? Hi, Shepard. You gonna be home with your mama? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna be a sad story. <laughs> she ain't I'm never, never leaving her house. <laughs> Hi, Boo Boo. It was the most amazing experience. I wasn't skeptical about the breeder. They're in Ivanhoe, Texas, and the name of the breeder is N&L Kennel. So they have a website, but they said they don't always post the pups that they have available on the website because by the time they end up posting them on the website, as opposed to Craigslist, the puppies are already gone. But when I tell you guys, if you're looking for a golden doodle, they have other dogs as well. But if you're looking for a good breeder that's reliable, trustworthy, professional, gets everything done and does what they say they're going to do. They were on time when it was time to pick him up. They had all the contracts and legal stuff ready for me before reviewing and signing and sending over. I paid a deposit and then I paid the final right before I went to pick him up um, that day. I don't think you can get puppies before eight or nine weeks, so he was born in April and I picked him up right at eight weeks. It was just the most amazing experience. He came home. Of course, it took time for him to get adjusted. He's home. He's home. He's home. He's scared. This is your home, Sugarfoot. But even with like training and things, like it's been super easy. And I always wanted to get a puppy from a baby so that like he can know my voice and kind of just know what I expect in a home and things like that. So although he is a baby, Cooper is extremely smart. He knows different things like go home, sit. He knows when I ask him if he wants to eat, a bunch of different things like that. He's very lazy as well. He's a puppy, so he has like his hyper spurt moments, but he's very lazy as well. So like he'll run around the house, do all his stuff and then just pass out. I don't know, he's just the perfect dog and it's been a great experience. And one thing that I always noticed or like kind of was annoyed by where people would always be like, you know, having a puppy is like having a, having a baby and it's so expensive and just all the negative stuff that comes with it. Although it is like having a baby where you have to find babysitters and things like that. I haven't experienced anything else. I mean, you spend a few extra coins with, um, you know, vet insurance and stuff like that and grooming, but like it's nothing ridiculous. So if you have the time and if you do want a puppy, I would counteract everything that everyone else is saying about how time consuming and just all the negative stuff. But I have had the most amazing experience having a puppy. He is like my best friend. He's just like the model perfect pup. No bad experience at all. Of course, training is training, but like, no one gets anything on the first try and if you're three four months old like you wouldn't expect a baby to you know know how to just go to the bathroom when you want them to go to the bathroom or where at between three and six months you know or even after that being patient is a must um with training but there are also classes so and i'm not sure if we're gonna go because i kind of wanted to train him myself and i was like watching youtube videos on how to do it yourself if I wanna learn some extra tricks or something, we may go to the PetSmart classes. I'm trying to think of all the questions that everyone asked me. Why I chose a breeder over rescue, I told you guys that. How I found the breeder, Craigslist. Now there are some scamming people on Craigslist. So I would just recommend to do your research beforehand, vet them out, go visit where they say that the puppies are, all of that kind of stuff before going with them. But my experience was seamless and I have not had any issues and it's been months on months. He has not been sick, he hasn't been, nothing has come up. I would recommend just going to Craigslist, but also vetting, you know, whatever beforehand, before you spend your money and things like that. What else have you guys asked me? What tricks does he know? He knows how to sit, he knows how to go home. He knows when I want him to eat, he knows when I want him to go outside. He's a pretty smart dog. Okay, go get your toy now. 
Go home. Good boy. I also forgot to mention that he is hyperallergenic, hypoallergenic. I have really, really bad allergies and I don't do well with like shedding dogs. He does not shed at all. He does not bark a lot. So of course he barks when he wants to get my attention or is trying to say something, but like we have conversations. So you know how that goes. We have mats in my apartment because I live on the third floor. When he pees on the mat, he tries to get my attention to tell me to give him a treat for doing so, which whatever you know i will because he's so smart other than that he doesn't really bark not even like when he hears stuff outside or cooper you can't take your bed into a different room do you get mom kiss oh hi thank you baby you're so sweet we're still filming so yeah um he plays by himself oh he does not sleep in a um he does not sleep in his crate so we got his crate from Clearly Loved Pets and I'll put their Instagram on here. It's a clear um, plastic crate so that, and I wanted to get it one because it's aesthetically pleasing for the living room, but also because I wanted him to be able to see, you know, what's happening in the living room and kind of not feel like a dog. I always say he's not really a dog. He's like a human child. You can't eat my braids, baby, that's rude. So he does not sleep in his crate. He sleeps on the floor beside me. Um, I didn't really want to do the whole bed thing because when I do have a family, like that's not happening. So I didn't want him to get used to that. And then, you know, be kicked out the bed. He is now smart enough and mature enough to kind of do his own thing at night. So I let him play with his toys until he falls asleep. He'll fall asleep next to me on the ground. Um, we're in his bed, which I don't know why he doesn't always sleep in his bed, which is really weird to me. He'll go to the bathroom on the mat in the middle of the night, like by himself and then go back and lay down. Like if he knows I'm asleep, he won't bark for a treat. So he's just really smart. And my experience has been seamless. I love him so much. And anytime I travel, I'm like, okay, I need to get back to my child. And I really, really recommend, especially especially if it's just you, um, get a puppy. Like it also will kind of, I mean, it's not totally like having a child, but it'll start to prepare you for that when you want to get up and go do something or like travel and you're like oh crap I gotta find a babysitter so I feel like I'm getting like you know my training a little bit hey no bite but I absolutely love this boy he is my favorite ever to give mom kiss baby thank you so sweet thank you baby um yeah he's my favorite I walk around and hold him like a baby all the time um, but yeah, I hope this video helps you guys. NNL Kennel is where I got him and I would one zillion percent recommend them if you're in the Texas area. I'm not sure, I mean, some people fly to go get their puppies. They're in Ivanhoe, Texas, which is close to Oklahoma, but I would one thousand bajillion percent recommend them. I have had no issues. Um, Cooper has been the model citizen dog. You know, he is a dog influencer, so if you guys follow him, Cooper Yvonne, he has his own Instagram. We've been working with some dog toy companies and things like that, but it's just, it's been amazing. And if you can, if you have the resources, if you have the availability in the space, I would recommend getting a little pup. And if you really want to take it all the way, get a golden doodle because they are the best, sweetest dogs in the entire universe, baby. Come on, I'm telling people you're sweet and you're biting my braids. But yeah, that's all guys. I just wanted to give you an, an official video to meet Cooper and to answer some of your questions about my breeder and all that kind of stuff. Um, he's amazing. And if you have additional questions about just having a puppy or what I do for certain things, leave them in the comments. I may do another video on training specifically or showing you guys some of his tricks, but let me know because I keep getting a lot of questions about Cooper. I haven't really officially introduced you, so. Here is the boy, and we're gonna go back to living our lives, our best lives. Say bye, Chicken Nugget. He has like a thousand nicknames. Coop DeVille, Chicken Nugget, Teddy Graham, all of that, and he answers to all of them. And Boo Boo, you my favorite boy. Mama loves you so much. Yeah, bye guys, love you guys so much. Make sure you're subscribed. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments. Make sure you're following me and Coop on Instagram. Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. I love you guys so much. Peace out.